I mean, it, it's a, like you said, it's a very hairy week. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's been a hairy week. And um, I'm going to start off this way. When we look at education, and again, I'm no expert in education, but the little education that I've done, when we look at integration, um, education, education looks at integrating us as a community, as a society. And so the very first rule or the first goal of education, or so let's say the most important goal, there are several goals of education. The most important goal of education is to integrate us. So when you come from your home, and I come from mine, and we all come and meet at school, the idea or the, 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 the hope is that we'll come and integrate and become one person. In other words, there's no Ashanti, there's no Ever, there's no um, Upper East, thing pressing, not none, nothing. We all just come and meet at the center in school, and then we leave all the cultural and ethnic um, affiliations and then we come and meet us one person. The idea is so that we are able to create the links right from school. So when we go outside, I don't say this is, these are the Everest, let's leave them on one side. These are the Notness, let's leave them on one side. The idea is to integrate us and make us to be this whole one homogeneous society. That is the idea. And so I like the fact that you said it's uh, the rule. You're looking at the rules in general today. Cutting of hair is part of the rules whether it's something that people side with or not, it's part of the rules. And so when you go to school and they say, cut your hair, educationists have sat down both in the past and even in the present and made it such that we should cut our hair in public school. I don't think that um, educationists got up just one day and said, let's create this rule. Again, people have left, and I, I'm praying that uh, educational psychologists will come out and speak about this issue. People have left the psychology bit of things aside. When students follow rules or adhere to rules, it promotes integration. And the opposite of integration is segregation, which we all do not want to, because none of us want to hear the word segregation anymore. We are all trying to integrate. And so what um, cutting of hair or being rules in general does for us is that it puts us together. It brings us, it makes us as one. We, we don't see the differentiation. When I was in school, I had my very close friend was a Muslim. We are still very good friends. What if there was you, segregation, what, what are they Muslim called? was on one side, and the Christian was on the other side. Mm -hmm. I don't think that we would have been the best of friends out of school. Mm -hmm. We'll still see the differences. But there was nothing like that. She was not in a hijab. We were all one. We would walk on campus and you never see that this is the Muslim, this is the Christian. That is the idea. And so let's all cut our hair. And anymore, you see, it's interesting how parents have also kept quiet. Because when they institute, let's all braid our hair in Ghana here. Oh, Lord. It's parents who are going to come out first and say, please, we beg. Let's cut the hair. Because my auntie sits with her child to braid her hair and she would cry the whole time. She literally, and so she get frustrated and then she would cut the hair eventually. And then she would get, she started the whole process back again because she goes to private school and so she's allowed to braid her hair. The whole point is that it cuts out a whole lot when we all follow the rules.